hello guys welcome back to this channel so let me show you one of the trades that we were looking at yesterday uh, that is on friday sorry today is sunday so i'm just looking at it while back testing while uh, journaling it so i decided to record a video on it so let me show you how you can get simple and very accurate trade with very good risk to reward using this checklist the, the checklist is the same in all these trades if you see my swing strategy the checklist is the same it's only true that we will be modifying it as the strategy evolves so we'll be modifying it but if you want to check you can also check my other videos with the trading strategy so these are just uh my two strategies that is the day trading and uh, and the swing strategy now this is a trade that we were looking at yesterday so this is how the trade was supposed to look like immediately we see that candle kind of closure that is what we call first uh 30 minutes full full body closure so that is that is our entry stop loss what does the stop loss say the stop loss says it should be it should be uh stop loss is few pips above or below the above 30 minutes candle so this 30 minutes candle above so this is uh, this is the right stop loss so that would be seven pips so we can make it like eight pips and then take profit is always on the on the low or high so what is the take profit above or below previous high or low of the daily candle this is the low of the daily candle so and them and we are selling so this is our target for the day or for the general uh, general trade so this is more than like a one to a, about one to eleven if you don't if you tighten your stop loss because in most occasions we don't expect this to go here so you can see it's more than 11 if you decide to tighten your stop loss we don't expect that this thing to go and take this high but if it takes it means the whole idea is wrong the reason why you do that is just to give it some small room breathing room mm, so that would be eight pip stop loss so everything is much so let's see how it plays so as you can see now it, it is at this particular point and that is the trade this is a tr this is the trade this is the particular point where we shared it in the telegram group you can check so i said here this is like was a 1 to 16 this was the take profit this was before news happened and what did i say i was looking at both euro usd euro aud and euro card but only euro card aligned well while the ea this pair did not align and so did not provide trade and so we did not trade it i'm going to show you that otherwise it's just because of nfp that i'm out of this trade sometimes you just let your trades go during cpi or nfp for the sake of uncertain news because they can always go either way so this was the idea of the trade so after that this was the euro aud that did not align we were waiting for it to take here and my alert was set and as you can see it never came and took this low and therefore the trade was invalid as compared to the other one now mm, so if you have if you have any trade running from any pair then started tightening or i was referring to news and then now euro card aligned for a session for a reason and as you can see this was the trade afterwards during the nfp and eventually you can see here me commenting about it so that is how the, this trade played about so this was the take profit and any any amount here was just equally okay to go by so that was a pullback because four hours must 30 minutes must always pull back whenever four hours closes so as you can see eventually it's much tp and that is where, uh, where the market is currently the market is here immediately it keys to the tp eventually uh it keys the tp and then reversed backward for more than a one to ele uh, 11 or a one to 10 so basically this strategy is very good in a high risk to reward it is mechanical and then there are principles that governs it so you don't get unnecessary stop losses of course i get stop losses if i take risk entry but if you take if you if you take uh if you take if you don't take risk entries it is very much high probability but me I, sometimes i take risk risk trades but from the from today is uh, on 6th uh, I will not. I will stop taking risk entries and only take confirmation entries so that I can get involved in such trade. Though I always, I also take 
confirmation entries now the reason why i didn't take this as i've said is news because you never know this movement you are seeing here could have gone the other way too but since technical was correct and all the all the entries checklist everything checked out even before news and that is i think that is even a more reason to see the reason why this this trade played out eventually so let me break this down using this checklist so that you can learn from me also something and then you can add it to your own uh, to your own trading style so let's get to it so the first thing we do is to check daily trending uh, trending daily time frame direction close opposite so we go to one day time frame so let's copy this and then clear out i don't i don't mark so many things because the the strategy is very clear and does not require a lot of uh, you to um, does not does not advocate for analysis paralysis and that is why i don't have so many things marked in my chart so let's cut that out so what is happening here i am not interested in all of this i'm interested in what is happening here as you can see this is a, a down market at a trending downward markets as you can see uh, this was a down trending market and then what do we see we see a close in opposite direction so that confirms our first checklist trending daily direction so that we have already identified our direction is we are selling and therefore we only look for sales but we can only look for sales if you want to play long term by waiting for the candle to close in opposite direction now that is done so the following day we wake up and look for the first four hour alignment uh, uh for, for first four hours to align uh let me just update it so that i make sure i'm using the correct one yes first four hour aligned and closed and and closed so in the overall direction of higher time frame so we are waiting for it to close into cells that is what we will be doing so let's go to four hours no we need to mark our direction so that we can know our tp so this marks the high that we are we want to go with and then this is the this is the overall take profit but you can still take profit here but this is the overall take profit so after marking the daily high and low like in this case you can mark this one and this one there's no problem this is just a if you want to take partials this should be your tp1 but we don't do that we just take everything next we go to four hours simple no analysis paralysis you know what you are doing at the market and then this strategy for me i wake up early that is why the strategy is favoring me but if you want to trade it and you don't want to wake up early in my time that is i, I wake up at around four you don't want to wake early you wake up early just trade major pairs and it will give you the same strategy but now the entry will be in london or new york so this is the market before the previous day so then the next day we, we look for for our alignment in in uh, in uh, our direction that means for it to align if one candle if the first four hours is to align this low should be taken because we are looking for sales now what happens the first four hours takes the high of this so it means that it is still grabbing more liquidity and then it does not align so we move the next candle we move to the next candle if this one is taken that means that the market has aligned for for uh, sales that would be our first alignment so let me bring it cl even closer so we need the market to align so this law should be taken here should be taken for the market to align so let's see now as you can see the market has aligned so we always wait for full body closure it has already closed so if it has already closed now this marks uh, marks the end of the first four hour aligned and closed in overall direction uh, so which makes is high probability so it has it has uh, if it aligns and close in overall direction it makes it high probability but as you can see in this case it closed bullish if you zoom in this market it closed bullish because it closed a little bit bullish i know other markets like fxcn would have shown that so it's a little bit bullish but that is not important so we next is we go to 30 minutes that is what the strategy says first a second four hour alignment we need now the next candle that is starting here in four hours to take this low and then pull back to take more liquidity and then we sell 
the reason why is because if the candle for example in this case the, the market has closed here if it just start to pull like this it can pull and never come back again so it means we shall be taking a loss like uh, it's entry risk because entry risk mean that uh, at this particular point it's just a matter of taking your high here closing here and then taking your stop loss somewhere here so this should be the take profit now that is risk entry still works but that is why it is called risk entry because it has low chances of not working so in this case we we try and wait for the second alignment to confirm that truly the market is in this direction so what do we do we go to 30 minutes and and wait for the second alignment in 30 minutes so we also check here from here you can see that there's limited room for pullback so any pullback will just be liquidity grab so we go to 30 minutes and wait for and wait for the market to take out this high this low to confirm second alignment so if it takes out this low, it confirms second alignment and whatever it will be doing in this particular in this particular region from this point to this point will be liquidity grab or manipulation generally so from this point from this point to this point is just manipulation whatever it will be doing here is manipulation or just generally for us pullback so what do we do we wait for second alignment but in 30 minutes so let's hope that whenever the market starts to move it will take this low before starting to pull back that is what makes it high probability so as you can see the market start this is the first 30 minutes uh, of that particular four hours and uh, what does it do it takes the high of this so that means that whatever it will be doing from this point onwards it will be manipulations so it has done that that is second alignment confirmed now we don't need any alignment or everything has aligned this is second alignment confirmed now next is a uh, we now look for the first 30 minutes v-shaped aggressive manipulation we are waiting now for for now four hours to pull back that is the manipulation point for it to pull back as you can see it start to pull back aggressively collecting liquidity and then if it closed here we would have entered but it did not close as you can see this was not a close then we see again it further takes more liquidity closes above takes everything this is still manipulation and therefore if this is still manipulation this should be now in general terms this is an SM, SMT a trap this is now an SMT but that is not important what we are waiting for is is we've now seen it this is 30 minutes aggressive pullback as you can see it's very aggressive now next thing we are waiting for is now on the entry part everything is confirmed now we are waiting for the entry so we'll be waiting for the first uh, 30 minutes full body closure so we can add that first let me just update that first 30 minutes full body closure to mark the entry So that is uh, so strategy. So let's wait and see. So when this closed, this was just confirmation that now this pullback is over, and in most occasions it will be true that it is now over. The four hours is now done pulling back. So stop loss there about. And then now take profit is this low this is the first take profit if you want to take partials if you don't want to take partials this would be everything for a one to at least a one to ten and as you can see the market started by moving a, a little bit and then news came and then it flashed it down then now we got our second pullback and then now market smashed it and that should be it should be very much accurate as you can see it is exactly at the week of that and that is what happened and TP was hit
So I'm expecting a pullback and then a continuation, but that is not, now we don't trade that model. That model now is for the day trading strategy. Now, as you can see, this uh, this uh, this particular point, 30 minutes full body closure, the first 30 minutes full body closure and 15 minutes scope. If you go to 15 minutes, uh, this is where scope formed. Yes, but we don't look at that. What is important is the is the is the 30 minutes full body closure what happened here and that is why uh, sticking to 30 minutes we still give a good risk to reward so i was waiting for the second alignment in a, in a, in a AU, in euro aud uh, as you can see the same same the, the daily was behaving on the same way but as you can see this was the first alignment this was the first alignment in four hours. So that is why uh, confirmation entry protects people from losses. So I was waiting for it to align on the second time here before I can I can take I can go to the next process. So as I, you can see, the reason why. The reason why we didn't take this trade as much as it is exactly like that of Eurocard is because is because second alignment did not take place. We did not see any thirty any 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 second alignment in thirty minutes. If we go to thirty minutes, I was expecting it to take this low to push back even in two candles, take this low, and then now it can it can now manipulate. So anything above this point. Anything within this this point would be would be just manipulations, but unfortunately, we did not align, and therefore we did not take trade, and therefore we did not get any loss. I was hopeful that it would align at this particular point, but it has to align in the next candle. Otherwise, if it does not align the second in the in the immediate candle, we ignore the trade. Those ones are some of the rules that I've not written here, but uh, that is how it works. If if it does not align in the next four hours, we just leave it alone, because now it will be just a bad trade generally. And uh, I was hoping for this candle to align here, but as you can see, even news did not align it, and uh, the current market is that way. It means that uh, we were protected from loss, so probably it may sell on Monday. But uh, that is not now our business. We left it alone because it stopped us out at at uh, checklist number three, which is second four hours alignment. But we check it in thirty minutes, so thirty minutes did not align here, and that is why you see my alert is still there. Did not align. I was hoping that this candle will pull here, and then the next one will pull, and then now we get the V-shaped reaction. We look for end of the aggressive uh, manipulation, and then now we can sell the market like if this was the end of the aggressive manipulation we would have sold this market similarly to that of euro card from somewhere there with a stop loss just above there to this would be the take profit for another one to eight so unfortunately that one did not happen and therefore we did not get any entry for that trade so if you like to see more about this just join the telegram group it's free then we can trade together you can also ask any question in the comment section and i'll be there to reply